All right, got a pretty good case study for you. We're working on a 2008 Dodge 3500 6.7 turbo diesel with a 68 RFE transmission. Uh, the vehicle was brought to us from another uh, shop. It was a transmission shop. And uh, it had several codes stored throughout several modules. And when the transmission shop uh, received the vehicle, uh, there was a gear ratio code for code P0734, uh, gear ratio air and, and fourth gear. Uh, they proceeded to, to believe it was a software problem because they had a programmer installed. And co sometimes programs can affect uh, the original software. So they shipped it to the dealership. They had it software flash OE stuff back in it, pulled off the uh, programmer. When they got the vehicle back, uh, they drove it. It was stuck in first gear. Ever since I got it back from the OE uh, dealership and had the software installed, it was stuck in first gear from there back to the shop. So there was a lot of codes for communication errors. So what I pulled up was just a kind of g general operation of the transmission of the 68 RFE and to kind of get an insight what the ECM does for shift operation and what it looks at. And that's key. What does it need to see? to make an objective answer to shifting, okay? So, and to help narrow my goal to where I'm gonna go after. So they're dead set on an electrical problem, okay? And they couldn't figure out why it was stuck in first gear, not third gear, because limping mode keeps this transmission in third gear, according to the paper, exact same thing. And he was like, it's gotta be electrical because it won't come out of first gear. Well, I cleared all the codes, okay? And when you first clear the codes, it was still stuck in first gear. I had to clear it three multiple times. Even though the codes did not return, I cleared it, cycle key, cleared it, cycle key, cleared it, cycle key. Then it shifted first, second, third, and it went into fourth, it slipped, just revved up. And if I kept it in fourth or kept it in third, trying to achieve fourth over time, the next time I went down to park or, or I stopped, it kept it in first gear and it just like the customer or the shop said it, it won't come out of first. If I clear the codes the same way, I have operation again all the way up to third gear. So that was key. Uh, the key thing is, is here, it only goes in limp mode if it's an electrical problem. If the, tra if the module believes there's an electrical fault, it will keep it in third gear. In this case, it was a mechanical fault, okay? So it kept it in first gear. Didn't say that in the writing or nothing, anything else in this description, but it does state electrical problem, it will keep in limp mode, which is third gear. So the easy way to, to figure out this problem was, as soon as I want to know, and when it goes in fourth gear, do my two clutches that are applied. So the main thing I was concerned with was once this transmission was trying to achieve fourth gear, the only two set of clutches that should be applied is the underdrive and the overdrive, okay? And the only time the overdrive is applied is starting in fourth gear. That's the dead giveaway here, guys. As soon as it hits fourth, underdrive's already applied. Then the overdrive gets applied. It can't achieve it, it's slipping, the clutches are smoked. Uh, with confidence, we were able to tell the shop, say, hey, you, your set of overdrive clutches are smoked. They actually disassembled it, confirmed the repair, or the diagnosis and they repaired it and we've test driven it since for them, no problems. We just deemed that there's no electrical, no other electrical problems or any mechanical problems present before they gave it back to your customer. Just want to give you an insight. Don't be scared when there's 20 something plus codes in the system. Weave out the obvious issues that have no, no bearing on the actual problem and apply the knowledge that's there as far as description operation, apply that toward your diagnostic and it might help you in the future. Things that cause the shop that referred a vehicle to us, a lot of issues or made him think it was a electrical problem because all the lost communication codes that were stored, I believe all those came after they reprogrammed the module and the, the um, dealership forgot to clear all codes. So I think that was a big part of this that they missed.